Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope today you take this video very seriously. I've entitled it, This Could Be Your Last Chance, and I'm not joking. You know, economic cycles happen every seven to 10 years. Some of the recessions are very mild, some are very heavy. We've even seen crashes like the Great Depression, and very few people, every time we see one of these cycles, were ready for it. They didn't educate themselves, they didn't prepare themselves, and they didn't have the tools necessary to take advantage of these downturns. Now, I'm gonna tell you a story through one of my awesome subscribers and somebody that actually took the real estate course and is a success. Uh, let me read a little bit of an email he sent me. I've spoken about him before, I've got him on camera right now, and I want him to inspire you today. And I want you to put yourself in his shoes today. And that's really a key fundamental um, of being successful is being able to put yourself in other people's shoes. And today, what I want you to do, when you, I put you in this gentleman's shoes, Jesse's shoes, you need to say, if he could do it, I can do it. Jesse said here in this email, he said, thank you so much for putting me, or for putting the real estate crash course together. It gave me the confidence to believe in myself. I never thought I'd be able to own uh, my own real estate, especially under these market conditions. I prayed about it. I did my due diligence through research. Because of your expectation, your experiences, it gave me the blueprint on the do's and don'ts, which in essence, you gave me a shortcut to success. Uh, going down through, we're gonna have him tell the, the rest of this email, but uh, let's do this. Jesse, thank you so much for coming on with me today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, uh, so just so you, everyone knows, uh, the second I met Jesse real quick, I said, I'm about to hit record. Don't talk to me. Here we go. I want everything live. So Jesse, you sent me an amazing email. Uh, you said you didn't believe in yourself. And first off, how old are you? I am 38. Awesome. Okay. So you never thought you could buy your own home. Tell me about I that. Mean, especially with, you know, living in Southern California, the uh, prices are off the roof. But, you know, um, one of the big, big takeaways for me was that the real estate cores gave so many pieces of nuggets and so, a myriad of strategies that there is no one way. There are multiple ways. You just got to grab one and take that opportunity. Excellent. So you listening to this video may think that this is a sales technique technique. And what I'm about to do is going to probably blow your mind, but I want to do this to inspire you. So Jesse, you said that you never thought you had the opportunity, but why did buying a $200 course or $300 course, whatever it was, wh why did that change something? What, what changed you? What Seriously, it couldn't have been the, the, the lessons. Well, you know, I've looked into some real estate courses and to be quite honest, some of the language was very, sometimes even difficult to understand, especially if you have no experience. And the fact that the course simplified it so well and it gave so much information I learn based on people's mistakes because there's that saying, right, that, you know, there's always learn from people's mistakes so that you don't commit, commit those same mistakes. And therefore, if you can learn from those people, you save years and years and years of, of you know, of um, making sure that, you know, you don't go through those same uh, steps. In essence, it gives you a sort of a blueprint so that it just propels you uh, to push forward and um, learn. And I think that was one of the biggest things that I've learned that, you know, uh, you know, it was, it was very simple. I loved the fact that the language was in, in layman's terms. Um, you spoke about your experience, a combination of audios, experiences, as well as sheets. You also had sheets. I'm one of the type of persons that cannot sit through a real estate course and let's say read you know, a handout or a book, the fact that it was very interactive. I feel like I was there. I feel like I had a coach by my side. Um, I, I kind of see it like as, a, as boxing. I love boxing. So it's kind of like having that sort of coach mentoring you, telling you, you know, look at this, consider that, consider that. And as a matter of fact, it helped me understand and ask questions that I would have never, ever thought about had it not been for the course. Oh, that's awesome. So now you bought, I believe, a duplex, correct? Right, right. Awesome. And you bought it out of state, right? So you in didn't state. look at your local. Yeah. Tell me about that. Like what state did you buy it in? And obviously we know why you didn't buy it in Los Angeles. <laughs> it's too expensive. So tell I, me I mean, a little bit about it. 
I mean, I mean, just 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 look at the at the leap that I, that I took, right? So, you know, the fact that I had like no real estate experience, and then yet I didn't even buy within my neighborhood. I, I literally took a That's leap in the, in the, in the, all the way in the in, in the in the Midwest, right? And I didn't yeah. even get to see the property. But I think you know some of the things that you did mention was, um, you know doing your due diligence that was one of the biggest things it doesn't matter opportunities are everywhere and i think one of the biggest things that that i learned was um the market is huge not all markets are created equal you know uh, learning how to buy uh, below the medium uh, price uh, that way it gives you the opportunity to you know let's say later down the road increase rent adding value to the property and so that helped me to understand um, and look into different markets. And so when I started doing research in different markets, I'm like, you know, gee, like there's some opportunities if you just, you know, take the time to look. But my mind wasn't set to look elsewhere. My mind was always programmed to look where I was living and where I'm living, it's, it's not that cheap. So it helped me to look elsewhere. And by looking elsewhere, I started just going through different um, listings. And um, that's how I found uh, some of the properties and, and I narrowed it down to the state of Missouri, actually. Nice. Now, I can't, I don't want to get into too much of the specifics because you and I are about to film a video for the course to share your success. We're going to give some specifics of what you bought, how you found it, all that kind of stuff for the course. But, um, you are in positive cash flow, correct? Yes. Okay. And what percentage did you put down on that property? So for me, the fact it was a 25%. Okay. And it was a 25% because with the conventional loan, um, and if it's a duplex, all the uh, mortgage or, or, or all the loan offices that um, uh, was willing to give me a loan, the minimum was 20, 25%, which for me, you know, the other thing I considered was, well, 25%, what am I comparing it to? Um, I, I am one of those individuals that definitely wants to get out of that 401k. So when I crunch some numbers, 25%, in a 401k giving me 5% or taking that out and putting it into the real estate market with a positive cash flow. Yep. Um, I mean, it just made perfect sense. Okay. Now this isn't to put you on the spot because you know that I, I teach all these different ways to get mortgages and all stuff. And I'm going to show you how we can get that back refinance and get you at a much lower, you know, we'll make this work. Right. Right. But you did what you had to do. And you right. took a calculated bet and put that 25% down, even though I personally like to see you put the bare, bare minimum. But right, at, right. at this point, that was the bare minimum, it sounds like. We're going to get to that in the course. Mm -hmm. But um, what I like is that you, let me ask you this. It sounds like what you did is you said, my rate of return will be X on this property with 25% down, as opposed to what my expected rate of return will be if I keep that money in a 401k. Is that, am I hearing you right? Correct. Excellent. Correct. So what you're describing is something I teach in the course is that I want you to think of multiple, like really big sphere here. It's not always what the deal is in front of you. It's what can I be get, making here as opposed to here where most people get, you know, blinded, you know, tunnel vision in there. Now, let me ask you this after this, because you've already started an LLC too. I believe you sent me an email about it, right? Yes. Yeah, so actually, as a matter of fact, I just uh, finished doing and attaching the Wyoming LLC. So as okay. a matter of fact, the paralegals are so great. Um, right now, yeah. actually, just yesterday, uh, my paralegal sent me the, the CTA form so yep. that I can go ahead and complete that because I only have a certain amount of time, time to make sure that, you know, I comply with the regulations and yeah. the law. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because nobody teaches that to, to hold right. your properties in a proper entity. It's because it's just not sexy these days. It doesn't sell a lot of books, but I want to make sure that you are protected. Um, of course, none of this is legal advice, everyone, or financial advice. Um, I'm an investor. So I think, you know, how much money am I putting out? When am I getting it back? And how am I protecting that money through the entire process? And Jesse took this and ran. Now, let me ask you this, Jesse. You live in Los Angeles. It's crazy down there. What do you do for a living, if you don't mind sharing that? It's like your yeah. industry. Yeah, so uh, 
I am a licensed clinical social worker, so my profession has a lot to do with mental health. Okay. I work with a lot of uh, individuals, patients, and you know, I, I, I help with diagnosing and follow up with their care. I mostly, I deal with uh, individuals that uh, suffer from a great deal of depression and anxiety. All right, let me stop you right there. Check this out. You're 38 years old. You're in, I don't know if you, are you single or are you, you with someone? Single. Okay, this is perfect. What has happened to your clarity and your self-esteem since you bought this? I mean, it's just, I, my mind has shifted from thinking like a consumer to thinking yeah. more as an investor. That was the biggest takeaway. Yeah. And, and this is what I want for everyone in America. I don't know how to get this information out. Um, I want you to stand up. I want people to stand up taller, have more confidence. You took a leap. Now, there could be, there will be bumps in the road for you financially, right? But you now have a baseline of understanding and knowledge because you took that information and you put it to work. Now, let me ask you this. Are you already thinking about the next place? Yes. As a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> okay. So I want you to pull the reins back a little bit because you made a perfect example. There's always deals out there. I want people to take advantage of this crash that's coming, but you can't take advantage of the crash unless you're starting to fill yourself full of knowledge and do something. Now you dove in and you're cash flowing. And you know, I, I say this, this isn't to embarrass anyone, but anyone can cash flow at 25, 50% mm -hmm. down, right? But now what we're going to do is we're going to use your experience on the course to hone in your specific, to be able to bring you back, put more money in your pocket and stabilize your balance sheet a little bit better. I can't wait to do that. Now, listen, I don't want to ramble on, but I'm about to do something that Jesse has no idea about. Um, I want this course to run like fire all over the country. And what I did just recently, because I've told my, my channel, I'm done selling it. I, I wanted to do it for a year at the two or $300 price point, whatever, you know, sales we were running because I wanted to get into people's hands like Jesse, people that never believed in themselves enough to go do it. And now it, it was a cost that it just, the light bulb goes on, right? Jesse, it, was it, you took the course more serious because you had some skin in the game, right? Right, right. Totally. So I gave every single, the opportunity to every one of my students an affiliate link to give them 50% of the proceeds from any course that they share. Because I believe that like Jesse, if you're passionate about this and you know it's changing your life and you know it's good info, I've seen people like Jesse have no homes going to their first rental that's cash flowing to somebody that owns 60 properties, has had three Lear jets and sits there and says, this course is amazing because it just brought me back down to basics. And that's what I'm about to do to, because that's how I made all my money. I want to offer them the opportunity to get the money for their first home. And so what I'm going to do is I asked Jesse to sign up as an affiliate. He didn't know why. And down below in the comments section is going to be his affiliate link. So if you're interested in this and he has a special deal, because I gave all of my students a 75% off uh, link that brings the three courses, a three course bundle from $1,200 down to 300. If you use that link, 50% of the proceeds are going to Jesse. I don't do that to sit there and like I'm on a high horse. I need to give you not only the educational tools, but the financial tools to be a success. And so I don't know if this will sell zero courses, one course or a hundred courses, but just know that that option is open to any and all of my students for the real estate course. And I want to see this catch fire this year. There are so many people that are telling you to cash flow, cash flow, cash flow, but they don't ever tell you to go put it into an LLC to protect yourself because it ain't sexy. And, but it's, it needs to be said. So Jesse, we're about to go record that second video. Is there anything in closing that you want to tell Ninja Nation about where you're at mentally, financially, or any of that stuff? Oh, definitely. I feel that, you know, um, definitely shifting your mind, your mindset from thinking as a consumer is just, you know, preparing for this crash. Like I said, I, I knew that even though it was a 25%, uh, you know, that down payment to me, I, I, I checked out all the boxes. I, I saw it as an opportunity to prep kind of like, you know, go, go, go through from the beginning to end, uh, seeing how, you know, the whole real estate process works. And then that just put me in a position so that when the crash does come, I'm more prepared and I'll, I, I will definitely be taking advantage of putting zero to maybe three, 5% down for sure. Man, I can't wait. Do you have a goal on how many properties you want to buy during this crash? Oh, five, five, five by the end of 2024. 
Whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're not like in the thick of it yet though. So you're you're going for it. Okay. We'll we'll talk about that in the next video, we'll okay? Yes. Awesome. All right. Well, everyone, thank you so much. Guys, the link is down below. 75% off link. It's Jesse's link. 50% of the proceeds go to Jesse. Um, and if you're a current student and you haven't seen that email, go sign up for the affiliate link if you want. I want this to catch fire. Thank you so much, Jesse, for coming on the channel. Thank you for having me. Right on. All right, everyone. With that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.